Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create, summer travel slideshow, like this. So let's get started. First create a new composition, 1920 by 1080. I call this main comp. Then create a one more composition, and this is our background comp. Now here we have some elements, so drag background image into the timeline. Then again create a new composition, and I called this fog. Then create a new solid layer. Select the layer and search fractal noise effects. Change the contrast around 80. Then open transform, and uncheck uniform scaling. And increase the scale width around 400, and scale height 250. Now animate the evolution. So hold Alt and click on stopwatch icon, and type the expression, time into 100. So this will be animated like this. Now go to background comp and drag fog comp into the timeline. And change layer mode normal to screen. Then create an adjustment layer. Select the layer and search hue and saturation effects. Select colorize, then change colorize hue 200, and colorize saturation 90. So it looks like something sky. Now go to main comp, and drag the background comp into the timeline. We need to add some elements, so open element folder and drag plane footage into the timeline. Change the layer mode screen. So here you can see our plane. I had already made such elements so that the video is not long. Adjust the plane right side of the composition. Then duplicate the plane footage, and this time adjust the footage left side of the composition. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need to add our image. So create a new composition. And I called this image pre-comp1. Then create another new composition, and this is our photo frame 1 comp. Now open elements folder and drag photo frame image into the timeline. Resize image according to the composition. Then search fill effects and change fill color white. Then squeeze the image from all sides, to fit perfectly. Cool. Now go to image pre-comp 1, and drag photo frame 1 comp into the timeline. Now create new composition. And this is our image placeholder 1 comp, then drag your image into the timeline, and resize according to the composition. Now go to image pre comp 1, and drag image placeholder into the timeline, below the photo frame layer, then open elements folder, and drag brush footage into the timeline above the image placeholder. Then select image placeholder layer, and change track matte alpha matte, so it looks like this. But as you can see, some black area is visible here. So create a new white solid layer, and put the layer under all the layers. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to main comp and drag image pre comp 1 into the timeline. Resize the layer around 60%. 
Now select the layer, then go to toolbar, and select rounded rectangle shape. And create a shape like this. You can increase and decrease the roundness by hold left mouse click, and up and down arrow keys. Now again select the rounded rectangle tool, and create a rectangle shape like this. And move the shape layer below the image pre-comp 1 layer, select both layers and align them. You can also change the shape color, as you like. And also parent image pre-comp with shape layer. Now open elements folder, and here we have cloud footage, so drag the cloud footage into the timer line, change layer mode normal to screen, and adjust cloud bottom side of the composition. Then duplicate the cloud layer one more time, and adjust the cloud little left side, so that our bottom side is filled with cloud, then again duplicate the cloud layer, and move the cloud top side of the composition and again duplicate one more time, and adjust the cloud right side of the comp. Cool. Now we need to add our text bottom side of the composition. So create a new composition. This is our text one comp, and change with 1500 pixels, height 250 pixels. Now type your text. Now animate the text, so expand text layer. Go to animate and select position. Then select opacity. And then blur. Change Y position around 80. Opacity 0% and blur 70. Then open range select a 1, then open advance, change shape. Ramp up. Ease height 100%. Randomize order on. Now go to first frame, add a keyframe on offset, and change the offset amount minus 100%. Then go to around 2 second forward, and change offset amount 100%. Select both keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Cool. Now go to main comp, and drag text 1 into the timer line, then go to menu, and select the layer, go to layer style, and select drop shadow. Open drop shadow, and choose sky blue color. Adjust text bottom side of the composition and also resize according to the composition. Now select all layers and make 3D layers. We need to animate the whole comp now, so create a camera, I am using 35mm preset camera. Then create null layer. Make anchor point center of the null layer, and convert null layer into 3D layer, and parent camera with null layer. Now go to two views horizontal, select the background layer, and move away from the camera, and resize according to the composition. Select both plane layer, and move little bit away from the camera. Select the plane layer one by one, and adjust them. Now select shape layer, and move little back from the camera. I think we need to increase the image size 70%. Cool. Now select the both bottom clouds, and move forward little bit. Then also select top clouds, and also move forward. Select the text layer and move back from the camera. 
perfect. Now we need to animate the image placeholder, so select the shape layer. Hit P for position, and Shift R for rotation, go to around one and half second forward, and add a keyframe on position and orientation. And change the Z orientation around 355 degree, then go to first frame and change the Z orientation, 20 degree, and move the position bottom side of the composition. Then go to few seconds forward, and change orientation 0 degree, Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now we need to animate null layer. So select null layer, hit P for position, and shift R for rotation. Go to one and half second forward, and add a keyframe on position and orientation. Then go to first frame, and change the Z orientation around 30 degree, but you are free to rotate it in any direction. Then change the X position, like this. Then go to few second forward and add a keyframe. Then again go to around 1 second forward, and change the Z orientation. And also move the position. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Select the image placeholder and shape layer and move the layers, around one second forward. And also move the text layer. Now we need to fill this black transparent area. So create a new white solid layer, Convert into 3D layer, and move bottom of the all layers. Go to two views horizontal, and move the Z position far away from the camera, just few pixel above the background layer. And resize according to the composition. We need to fill this area, so move X position, so that it fills up. And make sure there are no gaps here. Move the anchor point right side, so that we can easily scale up. Now duplicate this solid layer. And move opposite side. Then duplicate one more time, and move top side of the composition. And also duplicate the one more time, and move bottom side of the composition. Now let's see how it looks like. As you can see there is a gap between background and white solid, so overlap the white solid little bit. Cool. Perfect, it's look good to me. Select all layers and turn on motion blur and also pre-compose them. This is our scene 1. 
Now make scene 2, so duplicate scene 1, and move the layer when our scene 1 out animation end. Then go to project window and duplicate the scene 1 comp, hold alt and drag scene 2 over the scene 1 comp, open scene 2, then replace image pre comp 1, so go to project window and duplicate, image pre comp 1. Hold Alt and drag Image Precomp 2 over the Image Precomp 1, now open it, and also replace the Image Placeholder 1 Comp. Then change your image. You can add any video footage also. Now we need to change in and out animation of scene 2, so open scene 2, select null layer. Hit U to show keyframes, go to first keyframe and delete position and orientation keyframe. Then change the orientation, and also change the position. This is all depends on you, how to animate them. Then also delete the last keyframes, and change the orientation, and position. Cool. Select both scenes and turn on motion blur. Our animation has done, hit 0 for render. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.